What about now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? People, can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? You know what I'm saying? What I'm gonna say is your attitude affects your pay. Now, a lot of people like, how the hell can you affect your pay? You know how your attitude can affect your pay. Because it's called, when you're being nice to somebody, that's better, okay, cool. When you're being nice to somebody, we call that finessing, right? Now, I ain't been over the road in a while, right? One of the things that I noticed is you can finesse these situations. People are so used to dealing with that that butthole truck driver that come in with a bad attitude, act like the world is ending, act like you owe them something. And you know what they do? Absolutely nothing above and beyond to get something done for them. Who's going to want to move and shake and get things done for an a-hole? What's going on, Truck and Truth? What's happening, Broski? Now, who want to get that done for an a-hole? Nobody. So what I used to do is I would go stand in the line. Let's say I made it two hours early before my appointment. So I would go and I would walk in there and I'd be like, how you doing, missus? My name is Catherine. Because they're always defensive because truck drivers always own them because they're always rushing. So first thing you want to do is disarm them. They'd be like, you'd be like, oh, okay, looking nice. Uh, so, so basically, you you telling me that they only hire beautiful people in here? And the first thing she gonna do, do is your your attitude determines your out out altitude determines your aptitude. I like that. That's like that's nice. That's a slogan. That's a slogan. Use that for your company. Now look, right? Look, look. So, so you know what I'm saying? So, so bam. So you know what I'm saying? You go in and you disarm them. You say I'm nice, like. Man, that's a nice sweater right there. You know what I'm saying? I might have to go get me one of them if it wasn't made by Victoria's Secret. And they're going to start laughing, right? You've disarmed them. Now you're about to tell them you two hours early for your appointment. Yeah, uh, I, uh, I'm coming in. Uh, it, it's one o'clock. Yeah. And be like, oh, your appointment ain't to three. Be like, yeah, oh, man, I'm going to run out of hours. I hope I don't run out of hours. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to be like, wait, wait, don't. Don't do that shit when you're married. No, what I'm saying is, look, let me explain something to you. If you got a wife and you can't go in and be real, real uh, uh, nice and cool about it, that means that you're not doing your job as a man or a woman and, and, and talking to your mate and letting them know, like, this is something that I must do so i can be able to get back and y'all can even agree on the compliments if you want to take it that far like well you know what i'm saying son you gonna pump the gas so yeah. i can stay live thanks son i owe you one oh, i'm about to give it to you right now i'm about to give it to you right now you can use my sit go car oh, yeah. my wex hold on my wex sit go car you know what i'm saying so the point is all right, look, so you go in and you talk to the woman or the man. Uh, no, you don't go in. You just go out here. You just oh. go out here. I'm going to uh, show you what it is, though. Use this to open the uh, open the back. Here, 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 switch. Use this to open it up. Just put it in that pocket and pull it. So look, right? Now pull it. He not going to be able to get it. Watch. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Okay. So you go in and let's say you talking to somebody. Open. You, I got. It. I see you. So you go in. You talking to somebody, and y'all talking. You, 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 you disarm them by being really polite and nice to them. So now you're being polite and nice, and, and they like, wow, I really like this. So now you're about to ask them for a favor. I need to get in and out of here. They gonna be like, you know what they gonna do? Most of the time, you know what happened. It's either they're going to say, well, you know what, I could see if I could get you in or, you know, uh, 
I, I don't think I could do nothing. It's 30 minutes before your appointment time. So you could pull up over there and what's the name? You be like, all right, then you be smooth. And, and if I see any Ferraris out here, I'm going to buy you one. I stick it in there. Yeah, you stick it in there and take it out. What is asking for? It say in the odometer. Put in one, two, three, four, five, six. So you put. So you tell them that, right? So let's just say you tell them that, and you being nice to them, they're gonna say, you know what? I feel bad. I don't want this guy to wait. So I don't want this guy to wait. So guess what? When you go on there and they're going to be like, well, I don't want you to wait. You know what? Just stay right here for a minute because I got an appointment that might not show up. you be like, all right, no problem. Look, you know what? I'm just going to sit over here and chill. Just call this the chilling section. She laughed. Ha, ha, ha. You so silly. You so silly. Hey, hey, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm not silly. I'm chilling on my cousin's what side. Bam, sit down. Huh? What number do you want? Which, which, which one do I want? Yeah. It say remove pump. Uh, press regular, 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 regular. Yeah, take that one out. That one. I did press start. Up there, up top, right, right move to your right, right there in the middle. Look at super. Go up from super. Press start. Yeah, press that. Press start. There you go. It started. Now put it in there and, and get the pumping. Now my bad. I'm sorry. That that's gonna be the last interruption. I promise y'all. So look, you got her laughing. You just be nice and you disarm her, right? And I swear to God, majority of the time, you will get a door way before time. I done showed up to appointments five or six hours early. And it'd be places where they normally don't take the people. And she'd be like, you know what? Just look, just go, go to door six. And you better not say nothing. I'd be like, look at my lips. Do it look like they work? <laughs> she gonna be like, boy, get, get out of here and get door six. I'm getting door six. And I walk out. The whole thing is, you get more flies with honey than you do crap. And people don't understand that. Like, people think because you're a trucker and you miss your family and you've been out there on the road, it, it gives you some type of freaking excuse to go out there and be mean to people. No. Like, these people are the same type of people as you. Like, they sitting in the desk. They're getting beat on and abused by, by uh, all the truckers that's coming in. Most of them stinking. Like, and I, that's what we're going to address, too. Like, man, we got local drivers on our route. We got local drivers, and they come in funky. And we like, but you go home, though. Like, go home. You could swing by the YMCA and watch your behind. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now going back about the attitude. Another thing is, when you're thinking about these shippers, can your class help me as a 1099 employees? Yes. Yes. Listen, get, if you ain't got my class by now, go and get it, people. Go and get my class, people. What are you waiting for? Like, oh, what like what was that? What movie was that? Uh, 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 a scary movie. She was just saying that. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting? I think, I think I'm gonna put that in my ad. Like, you haven't gotten my class yet. It's 50 bucks. And then I'm going to put the lady from Scary Movie. She'll be like, what are you waiting for? Go to www.ybetv.org slash course and pick up the course. And if you don't have the time to do all the work yourself, just go to www.ybetv.org slash shop and let us do the work for you. Why are you sitting around being unproductive watching a video? We're going to give you that free anyway. You ever heard of Nova Lines? No, I haven't. No I what? What? I got some Nova Lines? I know I had crow's feet, but why, why I got Nova lines on my face? I, I don't know what a Nova line is. I'm sorry. I don't know what a Nova line is. Is it like a cosmetic? I'm just playing. Damn, it's still going. I must have really been on E. It's going to probably be like $60. Nah, that's a company. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I kind of figured it was a company. But uh, uh I'm going to show y'all some other stuff too. All my truckers. We're going to move on from attitude. But first, I, I want to tell y'all this. As truck drivers, we get screwed over a lot. You know what I'm saying? As a truck driver, I think that we are some of the most overlooked people in the country. I think we should get, how's the weather, brother? Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, Japeth, uh, 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 G. Lewis, you need to let me go ahead and set your business up for you, man. If you ain't got a set up about that, go ahead and buy a set up so I can set it up for you. You already know. Now, uh, it's done. All right, no, we good. No receipt. I ain't got. I don't need. You can get it. It don't matter. I, yeah, I can write that off. Uh, nose looks like a burrito. <laughs> I just throw it away. I just mean, throw it away. No, I, I get it. Damn. Damn, look at that. Sixty-one dollars. Uh, how much? 
Uh, the setup is one ninety nine. I will set everything up for you. I will set up. Uh, your your EIN number. I will set up your Duns and Bradstreet number. I will set up your uh your uh business address. I will set up your business phone number. I will set up your logo. I will set up your uh your website. I will set up all those things for you. And only thing you got to do, and I get the best prices on the stuff. The labor is one ninety nine. Everything else you pay the the lowest for. Is that with a virtual address? You dang on right. I set that up for you too. I set it all up. I had so many setups last week. That's why I stopped advertising because I was booked. I was too booked. I'm still like, I still got like four setups that need to dry out. What I mean by dry out is they almost done. Like they almost complete, but they just need that little extra. Uh. Now, what I'm going to tell y'all is this about the shippers and receivers. I want to tell y'all something. These shippers and receivers, a lot of them, they, they might have a bad attitude because the truck drivers come in there stinking. Some of them stink with a stinking attitude. Then, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they take a beat. And then, like, a lot of these people, like, when you start finessing them and actually talking to them and treating them like people, you start to notice one thing that they got in common. They getting screwed just like we is. Like, man, I didn't watch. I watched a company finesse all the shippers that was in the back like the shippers was in the back and they they supposed to renew their contract like every year and year or two and then their contract was up for renewals and they normally get raises and bonuses and stuff like that right so what they came in they said that they was on the verge of going bankrupt and they was broke and they didn't have the money to renew so they was just gonna give them a small bonus and then put them under a three-year contract because that way they'll be able to retain a job if something happens right why soon as they signed the contract and they got the last signature, they got rid of all their old furniture, got brand new furniture. The, the company went broke. They made way more than they ever made. And you wonder why these people got attitudes? What's the HT? What up, broski? HT stands for hot, hot logistics. Cause them tires stay hot. They stay on the road and they hot. <laughs> Okay, what if we already got EIN, LLC, or organization? Can we skip that step and what else will be needed? What else will be needed is you need to either get my course so you can go over it and go from the rooter to the tutor because I don't have two hours to explain it. And go to www.ybetv.org slash course and go pick it up. Or you could, uh, or, or you could get me to do it for you and still get the course. Hey, brother, I'm with the trucking company right now. Uh, 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 so how would the work if I'm with the company, lease with a company, would that still be able to own my own company? You damn right. Look, I always use my homeboy. I met this dude. He was about to buy my course and he a real good dude. Uh, his name is Charles McCorkle. I swear to God, I cannot make this up. He normally, he, I think I met him on YouTube, but I see them on my Facebook too. But to make a long story short, this dude does not have any type of uh, 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 owner operator experience look and it's well worth it truth and truth just told you it's well worth it now you know what uh, uh if my homeboy hot logistics is still in the building hot logistics i want you to send me go to my website and send me an email so i could have your email on file i'm going to send you my class for free yes you heard me hot logistics i'm gonna send you my class for free you know why because i love your channel and you know why I love your channel? Because I need to cross advertise. So in return, only thing I want you to do is do a review for your people or the class on your channel. If you think that's fair, throw to me the thumbs up. You can damn show. Matter of fact, you can throw me your email address on here and I will have you, your class, before the, the clock strikes the monkey tail. What, 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 what's the monkey? I, I know y'all like, clock strike the monkey tail. Like <laughs> Do clocks strike monkey tails? It do in my house. It do in my house. <laughs> look, what I'm saying is, look, you damn right, Ace Hot Logistics. That's called cross advertising, and we're going to cover that in my next course. That's a great deal, HT Hot Logistics. <laughs> look, I'm excited today. Once you set the business up virtually, they consider your own having your own authority. You can if you would like to. Uh, Japheth, uh, Jake, I'm on, I don't know if I'll be, JL, J, I'm going to start you JJ for Japheth Gene. JJ, I'm going to start calling you JJ from now on because you got a long ass name. 
and and I, I, I be messing up names. I'm terrible with names. HT don't even teach no more. Yes, he do. It's, it's, it stands for, HT stands for he teach. He teach. <laughs> I done made like 50 acronyms for HT today. But no, though, look. Y'all got me talking about, <laughs> y'all got me talking about the clay. Look, 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 look. People, I'm going to tell all my truckers this. Y'all need to start doing this. You see that? That looks like a uh, 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 turtle feces. Sitting at the bottom of my water, it look like a little little snapping turtle feces just uh, uh, floating in my water. It's not snapping turtle feces. It's not, not snapping turtle feces. It's regular turtle feces. I'm just playing. <laughs> I got the goofies today. Now look, that right there is called a goji berry. Now, I bet you, when I said a goji berry, and you like, you put goji berries in your water, the first thing you thought about is Dragon Ball Z. No, that's called the sensu bean. It's not a goji berry, but almost the same thing. Look, they like, since they are, they, Mike Pollard, Mike Pollard in the house. Mike Pollard, would you please tell them about your setup, please? I'm working with Mike Pollard right now as we speak. I'm setting up his business for him. I love working with this dude. This dude right here is the coolest dude ever. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna name my next kid Mike Pollard. Okay, I lied on because I can't have no more kids, but if I could have five more kids, the number six kid that I had would be named Mike Pollard. He that goddamn cool. Take it, and you, you notice how I just did that, how I botched it. If I could have five kids, kid number six, would be named Mike Pollard. <laughs> I don't like lying to my audience. But anyway, so um, what I'm going to say is this. We're going to talk about eating. Let's talk about eating, people. Before we get into eating, I'm just going to make sure I put this out here for all the people that's in here. Listen, people. What I want you guys to understand is I'm giving away the class with the setup. Okay, I got you. Oh, write this down, Switch. C R I. Okay, I, I, damn, you know what? I'm going to screenshot it. See, I'm smart. I screenshot it. I got it. Do they restore your energy? See, you also Dragon Ball Z stuff. Yes, they are really, really good, man. Like, they really, really good. You set up marketing business, too, and just truck or just trucks. Listen, I don't care what, listen. You can have a new company called Pornhub 2. I will set it up for you legitimately. I don't care what you do. I will set your business up for you. Shout out to Dragon Ball Super. I ain't seen this yet. I don't even know where to watch it. I want to see Dragon Ball Super. I got to keep going on. So look, I will set up any business for you. I'm going to try to make this quick because I don't want to make this about advertising. Listen. If you want to do it yourself, $50, go to www.ybetv.org slash course and pick up the course, 50 bucks. If not, if you don't want to do it yourself, are you still be? We about to get to it. We about, hey, 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 hot logistics, hot logistics. Look, you see my little dirty bag? We going to go over that. Matter of fact, before my son get out, let's go over it. What I got today. I got goji berries. See that? Hey, don't this, don't this look like I, I got drugs? Yeah, go. I got these gojis, baby. I got them gojis. These right here are a superfood. They really good for you. Look up the health effects of goji berries. It's, I think it's G-O-J-I-B-E-R-R-I-E-S. We got the goji berries. Put that back. Pass me something else out the back. My son in here with me. Okay, okay. He just passed me my salad. She'll never put enough in there. That has hummus. That has uh 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 beans in the kidney beans and uh 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 not white rice brown rice brown rice and it's on the salad she don't never give me enough what else we got come on give me something else give me something else son oh this this right here man nobody want that don't nobody hey hey look look hey bro this right here it got mixed in but if you can see it. It's got delicious all over it. These right here are corn, made out of corn. Uh, uh, what's the name? Tacos. Fish tacos. But without fish. No fish. This is actually a fox meat. It is like fish, but it's not fish. And it's really, really good. Uh, give me the top. What the top to this? Just soup it off, Dad. What I do with it, though. 
you know I'm absent minded. Don't I supposed to make it right, right here? Yeah. Yeah. Cover that back up. Okay. And then, like, what else I got? Uh, you got the oatmeal. You got uh, an apple. Oh. You know what they say about an apple a day? Okay, I found it. I'm, I'm gonna swerve. Apple a day? Anything else in there? I think I got an orange. So that's gonna be my lunch for the day slash my breakfast. I wish I had some peanut butter, but I ain't got no peanut butter, so I'm kind of popped on that. Don't drive and show your food like your dad. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, my son. Okay, so like your dad, hey, he say don't drive and show your food like your dad. He tells you, don't be no idiot like me. Okay, you over here, right? Yeah, that's good. My son, Mister. Well, that juice that I ain't got no juice today, man. My lady ain't juice or give me no uh 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 uh, uh no uh, mix up no smoothie. She ain't give me nan, so I know I'm about to have a sluggish day today because I ain't got no fresh juice. I'm gonna probably cheat and go to the truck stop and get me a coconut water or something because I be needing them fresh vitamins and juices. But okay, now back to it. What I'm going to say is this, like if y'all thinking about getting a setup or what's the name, just go on the website and pick it up, man. It's definitely a good thing. Now let's talk about, we talked about eating. Let's talk about eating a little bit more in depth. All right, son, have a good day. You too, Dad. Love you. Love you too. See you there, KJ. Now I got to drop off my other man because you're trying to drive, talk, ask for directions, more crazy drives out there. Yeah, it was. Now let's talk that stuff. Juicer is good to have. Too. Yes, I got a juicer. I got a juicer and I got a uh, a, a neutral bullet and one of them uh, a knockoff uh the one that every the big companies use. I forgot too. We got that diet water on deck. Diet water? <laughs> no man, like I um I just man, listen man. Right now is the age like number one. One of the biggest things to me is high blood pressure, diabetes. I watch my family get destroyed one of my uncles one of the strongest dudes that i know like he's bedridden all the freaking time uh i watched obesity tear my family up uh one of my uncles just died of cancer like i'm 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 getting away from it man like i'm cool on that like man look if the grim reaper want a piece of me he gonna have to box me because i'm not going like if i just gotta give up a lot of the foods that I really, really used to like, like crazy, so I could be able to live and not be fat and ugly looking and funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could live with that. Versus, you know what I'm saying? Like, not being able to have that type of stuff. So, I'm definitely, definitely, uh, 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 uh I'm cool on that, man. I'll definitely change it. And I would say, like, at least if you out there, the best thing that you could do is fresh fruits and vegetables fresh fruits and vegetables and you know what i'm saying like and if you getting big and you getting overweight and you you know what i'm saying like men shouldn't have breasts i think that they say like it be men with big old nipples you know what i'm saying like they nipples be bigger than they wives and they be like man all that vegetarian stuff is for vaginas like oh, i'm gonna say it i ain't trying to monetize like this is for pussies and you'll be like nigga titties is for women like, what is you talking about? You got breast. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and I'm not picking. Only thing I'm doing is keeping it a buck. You know what I'm saying? And if it make you feel some type of way, that's good. Thing, because, look, when you start feeling a certain type of way, when somebody talking their truth and you start feeling a certain type of way, don't get mad at them. Internalize that and say, you know what? I need to make changes. Because, like, people say stuff to me, and they be like, man, Joe, this, this, and this, and this, this. And then I feel some type of way. I be like, you know what? I had to make change. I'm going to tell y'all one thing that uh, I was doing at one point in time. I was having sex with my girl. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes I be selfish, and, like, for a whole week straight, I get mad, and I just go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And then it was this one dude, and I swear to God, he went in. I swear to God, he was like, and it don't make no sense. How can you do a woman like that? She got to go to bed. For, and I never really thought about it. You know what I'm saying? This was a while ago. I never really thought about it. And when it was saying, I'm just thinking like, man, I was tired of work. I really ain't care. And I just wanted to get something and go to sleep. And I didn't even think about the other person. So I just wanted to share that intimate detail because I want people to know I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I just want you to take this information, internalize it, and possibly use it to help you to grow. 
So my point is this. I was short my lady in the bedroom. And then he was like, man, it don't matter. At least make sure she gets hers. She should get the big out. So you know what I'm saying? I make sure my girl OG every time. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you. She be like, yeah, I had an orgasm. I had to. I be like, oh, okay, well, I'm tired. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you straight. She's like, I'm straight, my stomach muscle on the side cramped. I'm like, all right, well, we good, then we could go to bed. You know what I'm saying? And and I didn't think about it like, it don't matter if you don't have time and if you are about to do a quickie or whatnot, one of the biggest things that you need to do, you need to make sure that all parties are satisfied. You know what I'm saying? And even if, let's just say, even if you didn't satisfy her with your joint, you need to get down there and, and you know what I'm saying, eat like a Cambodian immigrant. You need to get down there and just... You been drinking vitamin water? Why you taste like peaches? I'm gonna call you peaches. You know what I'm saying? You need to do whatever you need to do to make sure that woman gets her climax just as well as you. Now, going back to the other thing is, I just want to say this. When it comes down to the other stuff as far as eating, man, come on, man. We 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 all getting to, I bet $5 that every time Toon looks in the mirror, he says a prayer, ask the Lord for Popeye's, Ponderosa, or Chili's baby back ribs. Nah, man, I don't. Truck of truth, look, I'm going to be honest, bro. When you, my lady cooks up some vegetarian food. She cooks up some vegetarian food. And it's not about the, the, the what's in that. I got the money to buy it. I could get it. I don't want it. And I like the healthy life I'm living. I feel a lot better. I take a crap two to three times in the morning and I feel light on my feet. And just from changing my diet, I went from over 183 pounds to 165 pounds. 165 pounds. Like I, and I don't even exercise. I feel a lot better. My penis gets a lot harder. Like, and the food, the vegan food is delicious. Like, I swear, I swear to God, like, listen, bro. Vegan enchiladas are fire. Vegan uh, 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 lasagna is fire. They got all these vegan, like, I swear, look, the truck of truth. This is what I want you to do, bro. If I want you to go to a, 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 a TGI Fridays, <clears throat> Just for you, because you talking stuff, and I like that. You challenging me. TGI Fridays, Truck of Truth. And I want you to order the Beyond Meat Burger. The Beyond Meat Burger. And I want you to get it with all the works. See, if your wife supports the diet, you're winning. And recommend tech for, oh, look, Beyond Meat Burger. No, no, has me on the veggie diet, too, plus I've been losing this weight. See, I man, Truck of Truth, you got me riled all up, about to challenge you and stuff. But I I do want y'all to go check it out and any recommendations for the over the road drivers yes go to walmart and if you got your own truck get a refrigerator one of the best investments you could get get a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables you ain't got to do a lot like okay let's just say you get uh uh go and get you some vegetarian meals some uh, uh some vegetarian meals and, and a lot of fruits if you over the road get a lot of fruits and snack on them like instead of you getting uh 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 a, a, a platter of watermelon. You could get a platter of watermelon. You could actually buy a watermelon, buy you a little knife, right? Go in there and get you a bunch of Tupperware and cut it up. And every day eat two of those. You know what I'm saying? That's two watermelon. I'm saying you could eat whatever you normally eat and just give your body a break. Keep kale, spinach, and some ranch. See, look, look, hey, I'm telling you, just do those. Get you some smoothies, get you some coconut. Well, I'm not saying, listen, one of the biggest things is I'm not a person to judge nobody. You move at your own pace, whatever you feel comfortable with. Let's say you eat pork every day in the week. Cut that pork down to three days a week. Let's say you eat beef every day a week. Cut it down to three to four days a week. If you eat chicken, all that, sometimes when you go on the subway, just get a veggie. I have been 165 since birth. <laughs> Hey, you a fool for that AC, I swear to God. <laughs> hey, AC, you a fool for that one, man. You definitely a fool for that one, man. And, uh, no, nah, but what I'm going to say is, man, like, I definitely want you to uh sponsor that for me, HT. Straight up, bro. I definitely want you to sponsor that. I'm at my mama house. I, uh, I got to drop off my baby boy. Look at him. Like, this boy is one years old. Beyond Meat. Get the TGI. I swear to God, go to TGI Fridays and ask them for the Beyond Meat burger. Get avocado on it, too. 
Bro, when I tell you, you're going to be like, this ain't me. Man, you lying. Somebody lying. It's me. You're going to damn near cry. Watch this. Y'all want to see. Y'all want to see a smart baby. One years old. Vegetarian. Vegan. Vegetarian baby. How do? A. A. B. C. D. E. F. F. G. E. H. I. J. E. See that baby? That baby is smart. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. If you happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you happy and you know it, stomp your feet. I said stomp your feet, boy. I gotta stand them up so he can do it. One years old, bro. One. One. Hold on, watch this. Wait, wait, wait. One more, one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, I swear to God, you hear? Cease. Cease. You hear that? You heard it was so cute. He said, Cease. Come on, let me just let you in the door. Come on, come on, Kylo. Hey, I'm telling you, man, like, man, anything possible, man. Come on, Kylo. There you go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Yeah, he. Like, you gotta watch him. His chest can just. Oh, he sound like Kamari. Yeah. Hey, there go my other baby boy right here. He's hey, sick. Look at that. Look what What's up, Kamari? You wanna try to call me? They over there, grandma. Why you call me? You already here. I don't bother. <laughs> Hold on, mom. I'm about to bring in his bag. No, no. He he like to call collect. What? For, uh, for his oh, I think Mina put something in the bag. Oh. Um, I, I'm all shout out to the young smart prince. Hey, I'm telling you, bro. Like the next thing we gonna do? Oh yeah, raising smart kids. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something about that too. I just want to talk to y'all, man. If y'all want to waste some time and talk, it ain't gotta be about trucking. One of the biggest things that you could use, one of the biggest tools for anybody who got new kids is, they say don't sit your kid in front of the TV. You can sit your kid in front of the TV as long as you put it on YouTube. And you, it's so much stuff with this technology. You put one of these kids in front of the TV, in front of YouTube, you had their ass speaking German. Like, it's so many different people that just go on YouTube and they make a living off of it. So you could damn near get all types of stuff off of YouTube. So you go on YouTube and you put uh, uh, ABC songs, uh, uh, one, uh, one, two, three songs, and it's gonna come on one, two, three nursery rhymes. Put your son in front of it and just play with him and say the same thing and reward him every time you do. Internet is the devil though, if unrestricted. Yeah, I can see that. But you know what I'm saying? Everything, like a knife can cut you fruits and vegetables, but it can cut you. You know what I'm saying? So it's always two, two sides to everything. You can use everything. A, a gun can save your life, but it can take your life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 carrot is delicious and nutritious until you choke on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, y'all. See y'all later. Okay. Give me some sugars. Give me some sugars. Mm -hmm. Give me kiss, cut on. Mother, run on. Okay, you just gonna call for my family. All right. He was trying to get your hat. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, so back to what I was saying though. Um, you gotta bring a note. Okay, ma. I don't know what that means. Good pair. Look, this the whole thing, man. Just, just get away from certain things. One of the biggest things is, don't make your kids a label whore. And another thing is, all that what's the name garbage. I think that's gar one of the biggest stupidest things that I hear people say is, let your kid choose their own path. Yeah, and how well does that work out for most people? You implant ideas in your child. Sort of say, kind of brainwash them. Yeah, you brainwash them in a positive way. Like, number one, what is wrong with appointing people for what you need in your family? Like, I hate the fact that we ain't got no lawyers in our family. We ain't got no lawyers in our family. And I hate it because, in a sense, it gives us absolutely no real voice. If we want a voice, we gotta make a crazy boatload of money and 
there's not gonna be enough to cover the whole family. Like, let's just say me. If something happened with me and my child, like I could possibly try to cover the court costs, depending on what it, how much it is, that's gonna be for my child or for me. But, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we need somebody that studies actual litigation. So when something does happen and somebody say, hey, this person wronged me at my job. I'm going to call my brother. They be like, you're going to call your brother. And then next thing you know, they brother come up there in that nice ass suit that he's working for that firm. And he drops his card on the table and be like, you fired my sister. You wrongfully fired her. And it was over this, this, this. That is sexist. You know what I'm saying? You cannot do that. And they thought she didn't have a voice. And be like, all right, well, you'll definitely be receiving litigation from my office. Now we have a voice. You know how many times I was wrong? Just because of my appearance, the mob and white people found out out a long time. We live in VA. No, I stay in Fort Wayne, Indiana right now. But look, this the whole thing. This the whole thing. When you think about it, why wouldn't you appoint your kids to do whatever? Only thing you gotta do is make it seem like it's their idea. Like, you know what, them Indians. Now, now this is, I don't like a, a, a spectating off race, but like, when it's true, it's true. Indians people, I'm talking about like, not, not the, oh, 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 I'm talking about the doc. The dot, the dot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to be mean or evil. Like, the, I think they say that's the window to the soul, that dot right there. So, the, the Indians from India with the dot, you notice that the majority of them come over here and become doctors. Now, when you think about that, think about that. You honestly think they're not telling their children, like, you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a great surgeon. You're going to be a great doctor. You're going to be a great surgeon. And then they do it. So what's wrong with you telling your kids like 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 my mama called my son Dr. Hootie. She calls him Dr. Hootie. And for Halloween, we should dress him, you should dress him up and give him a stethoscope. And you tell him what it is. That's a stethoscope. That's what you're gonna use on your patients, son. That right there, those right there are called octoral lenses. That's what you're going to use on your patients, son, when you become an optometrist. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you do, like, whatever you do, that's going to adopt the Indian child, then retire. I'm just going <laughs> to... <laughs> HT, you play too much, man. You a fool with it, though, bro. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. The thing is, is that when you Get your kids, man, and you got them growing up. You definitely want to put p- p- the 5P. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. You know what I'm saying? 5Ps. You already right. You already know. But the point is, it's like this. Like, man, just look at it like this. When you really think about this and you really going back and forth with your child and you teaching them this stuff and you let them know, like, this is what our voice look like. Like, my son, he say he want to be a doctor, my other son. So we start watching the good doctor. Only thing I don't like is he don't get to spend enough time with me. Like my son, he really don't get to spend enough time with me. So I'm like, hey man, and I really want to just put that that information, you know what I'm saying? Give it to him and make sure that he, he accepts it. And you know what I'm saying? Digest it in, in a sense, sort of say, you know what I'm saying? But you, you know, his mother kind of don't work with me the way that I would, I would hope that she would. So, you know, so I just give them the food for thought and just leave it be. And hopefully it just, you know, uh, hopefully it'll uh, he'll pick it up later. I hope your Indian child doesn't call your sex by mom. Uh, y'all crazy, man. Y'all crazy. I'm not getting involved with that. That's y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Now, look, though. So that's as far as parenting go, man. Like, claim it with your kid. Whatever you need in your family. If your family ain't got a voice. Get your kid to go to school to become a lawyer. That's what we need. We need to turn off the TV and actually start turning on certain things so the kids can see it. Make make them watch them lawyer programs and get involved with it and love it. Make them watch them doctor programs. And another thing is, if my kid is not becoming a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer or something that's like really high in demand, they not going to college. They gonna start from scratch and they gonna start their own business from scratch. Stop talking about your wife like that. Y'all crazy, man. Look, so like the whole thing is, man, just, just look at it like that, man. We could definitely, you know what I'm saying, raise better kids if we started early and we start implanting these ideas into their head. And, and you start planting these seeds. We need a doctor, lawyer, and a car salesman in mind. I swear to God, all jokes aside, if you serious, go for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not? I definitely agree with you. If y'all need a doctor, lawyer, you need to start planting those seeds now. 
You need to start calling them doctor. Like, how you doing today, doctor? Yes, doctor. No problem, doctor. All right, now go get me some potatoes from in that kitchen. Stack. You know, and have them taking your blood pressure. Like, my son, you know what? Thank you. You just gave me an idea. Every day since my son want to be a doctor, I'm going to get him to start taking my blood pressure. I'm like, come on, son. Every day I want you to do this. I got a, I got this. It's made by Withings. W-I-T-H-I-N-G-S. It connects directly to your iPhone. And I always monitor my blood pressure. It's normal. My blood pressure normal. And that's another thing since I've been eating healthy. My blood pressure been right there. Normal. It went down. It's cool. Okay, somebody else hit me up about the uh the setup. I just did a setup. But black people definitely need to start encouraging our kids to be great beyond sports, rap, and music. Bro, I swear. Hey, HT, now you talking, bro. Let him listen to your heartbeat, bro. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that next. I'm going to do that next. You already know. Tune HT and our good friends, even though he looks like spoiled boss. Bob, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, wait, what's his name? Hey, you feel fool for that one. Uh, I know, I know. That's why I said I'm not getting into it. Cause I could tell how y'all playing that y'all, you know, y'all cool like that. So it ain't nothing. Uh, I'm gonna definitely do all those. I'm gonna let them take my blood pressure. I'm gonna let them take my heartbeat. I'm gonna let them learn what systolic and diastolic is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely let him watch uh, uh, stuff like The Good Doctor. That's a great show. And hopefully that pushes him to go over the top that pushes him to continuously pursue it if if he don't if he falls short i know i did what i could and i was there for him in every way but otherwise like you know look oh you know what i want to tell y'all about this vlog that i'm about to do on facebook i'm probably gonna go live on this probably tomorrow or day after it's gonna be called it's gonna be called college is about to be a thing of the past College is starting to become like irrelevant. Like most people, only people is really gonna be going to college is people that need those certifications and degrees and those papers so they could be able to have their career like doctors, lawyers, maybe accountants, uh, uh, people like that. But for the most part, people are learning how to learn business and they're getting sick of it. Like I swear, I, I'm so through with college. Like I, 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 I actually kind of hate it. Like in a sense, number one, how you gonna make me pay for something? I've been telling people get a trade. Right, and then people been learning that night. You gotta remember, now technology is starting to kill college. Like, think about it. If you wanna start a business now, you find somebody like me with a business class, and then I'm about to become a one-stop shop, sidebar. Let me tell you guys what I'm about to do. Right now, my business class has been going so well. I ain't gonna lie. I done made a boatload of money off that business class. And, and the reason why I love it is because the people love it. They love the business class and I'm getting absolutely no bad, uh, like no bad uh, 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 comments, no bad uh, 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 reviews, nothing on it. I swear to God, ain't nobody said absolutely nothing bad about it. The worst thing he said is I didn't co cover corporate piercing and that ain't got nothing to do with building business credit. So I'm like, that's actually kind of a compliment. If that's the only thing you can find wrong with it, it's actually a compliment because it's not about corporate prisons, piercing and corporate structure. It's it's just hinting on certain things and it's getting you to the point where you establish your business correctly. And I'm actually going to add that to it so that'll up the class a little bit more to make it a little bit better. So with that being said, if you come to me, I want you to take my class, right? You take my first class and you learn that, bam. You get that and you understand how to start the business, name it, get it structured correctly, get your corporate address, your corporate phone number, you learn how to do all those things. Then my next class is going to drop to 100 on your business. I'm going to show you how to get followers on Instagram, how to get followers on your like page. I'm going to show you all those things, right? Now, guess what? Out here, I question myself when I'm out here for every day. I do this for my wife, and I'm building an empire for my son. Other than that, I would be wasting my time. Exactly. All true. Now, look. This is another thing, right? I just bought a t-shirt press, a multifunction t-shirt press, a vinyl cutter. Now, this multifunction press cost me like a thousand bucks. The vinyl cutter cost me damn near two grand. Uh, uh, and then I just bought a, a, a sublimation printer. Now, I'm about to offer... After a while, when I start advertising, make sure y'all tune in because I'm about to put together some very cheap packages for you guys to brand your business with me. I want me to be your one-stop shop for all your business needs. 
when you come to me with a name and an idea of your business and when you finish i want you to have uh, an address that would be nice if that was a truck sales company owned and ran by an honest driver hey I ain't got to that project. Let me let me blow this up and I could possibly do that. Like, let me blow this up and I could possibly get some truck sales companies and, and get something going. Like, I don't know. Like, I have to see. But let me get this stuff first. When you come to me, you say, Toon, I got an idea. I want to start this place called Custom in uh, 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 O'Neill's Glass. Man, I've been doing glass for the longest. You lying, bro. You ask yourself why you out here because you ain't making money take that hater <laughs> look so let's just say you um uh uh, uh uh you come to me you say tune i got this idea i want to start this thing called this glass company while well, i make glass i know how to make these custom glass ornaments and this this and this i'm like all right what's the name of it um fly ass glass you know what i'm saying fly ass glass like fly ash glad you know what i'm saying or whatever and they name it. i'm like all right cool so we do the search we do the name i get them the business website i get them the business email address the corporate phone number the corporate address uh, uh they duns number and then i start getting them to build their business credit and and they feeling great right so they like all right well cool i got my business set up i'm building business credit so i'm actually getting some revenue but don't nobody know about me too what do i do now like, hey, look, I'm gonna send you this link. I want you to get my business marketing class. So they're like, all right, I'm gonna get it. So they get the business marketing class and they start setting it up. They start doing everything I'm telling them. Within six months, they got over 5,000 followers on Instagram. They got over 5,000 followers on, on a Facebook like page. They starting to get a YouTube presence. They starting to do all this thing and they got people talking about it and they got people ordering stuff. And they like, ooh, my website going crazy and this, this, and this, man. But you know what, man? Like, I, it's getting too big for me, too. I need to hire workers, man. I want it to look good, but I just don't look professional. I'm like, all right, look, how about this? You subcontract and you do your affiliate marketing thing and you let people affiliate marketing do affiliate marketing for you. Right? So then guess what he going to say? Sounds like some good stuff. Guess what he going to say? He going to say, all right, cool. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, all right, well, look, go on my website and grab the big this package too. You made enough to afford the second one. He be like, how much is that one? It's $438. Okay, what it comes with? It comes with 10 t-shirts. Like, okay, 20 mugs. Okay, it comes with this, that, and this. I'm just throwing the number. 20 mugs, 20 t-shirts, 10, 15 t-shirts, 20 mugs, this many hats, this many polo shirts. It comes with this, 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 and this, and this, this, and this. They're going to be like, damn, I got all this. Like, yeah, now when you get a drive, when you get somebody and they come, you welcome them to your company, you give them a shirt, a hat, a mug, all listed. I am giving teams uh, 10,000 sign-on bonus if I'm paying 60 cents per mile, but I'm broke at stuff, though. Hey. No, but anyway, though, so look, what I'm saying is, only thing I'm saying is look at it this way, fellas. Uh, uh, listen, the biggest thing is that you got to understand is this. I want to be a one-stop shop, and for that to happen, I'm going to need y'all support, and I just need y'all to keep on. <sighs> man, y'all crazy, man. I just want y'all to keep on uh, supporting and doing what you need to do, and definitely keep on on the lookout because it's coming. It's definitely coming. You know what I'm saying? And I'm damn near to the truck. Like, man, I just said like this, man. Like, with that being said, man, you, you could definitely do some great stuff. And I'm definitely continuously trying to do some super great stuff. You know what I'm saying? In my little old century, by the time I get into school, I need that job. Look, one of the biggest things that I want to say is before I get out of here, because it's, okay, it's 9.55. I can still make good time. One of the biggest things I can say is this, man. Like, man, just in this life, man, you just go out, you just learn, man. You learn and you do what you can, man. And you you be the best person. You be the best parent. You be the best whatever you are. You know what I'm saying? Y'all crazy, man. So you be the best person. You be the best driver. You be the best whatever. You know what I'm saying? And you go through life and you live and you learn. You know what I'm saying? And you stay humble. And you don't keep on putting how much you pay your drivers on somebody else's life. <laughs>
Man, that's great, man. I, look, you know what, though? Like, on some real stuff, though, like, HT and uh, Truck and Truth, man. Like, man, I'm proud to hear that, man. Two brothers just out here doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, um... That's great, man. And y'all out here finding drivers and educating people. They both got channels. Make sure y'all check them out. HT Logistics at uh, The Truck and Truth is, I think it's D A T R U C K I N G T R U T H. Uh, HT Logistics is. HT Logistics 3434. Make sure y'all check them out because these dudes, like, man, they, they definitely great people, man, and they go out and they really go above and beyond to, you know, help people, and they got channels, too, if you are in a, you know, the trucking thing and you want to learn more about trucking, so. And for the numbers that they just put up, I can see that they definitely very successful. So, you know what I'm saying? You could build your kids' confidence from the beginning so they can accomplish a lot as adults. One of the biggest things is, ladies, fellas, I want to tell y'all this. As truck drivers, I know we fail with this. This is going to be the last thing I'm going to say before I go. Well, one of the last things, because the last thing I'm going to do is plug my business. You already know. Look, when you go out and, and buy your kids everything, and truckers, we got this bad because we don't see our kids a lot. Don't do it. Make them earn it. One of the worst things that you could do for a kid is continuously give them things. All the behaviors that our kids exhibit when they're older come from somewhere. And a lot of the time when you get these kids that think that people owe them something, that the world should owe them something, and they can't get their things together, it's because the parent gave them too much as a kid. The reason why I was able to strive and pull through and make it happen is because I didn't really receive nothing. In life, nothing was really given to me. Even when I was young, my mother couldn't afford it. We struggled. You know what I'm saying? It was me and my brother. We struggled. And my stepfather was the only one working. My mother didn't work because she had a, a foot condition. So she couldn't really be on her feet. She had a uh, foot surgery in there. She couldn't stand on her feet long. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, exactly, bro. Giving them discipline and a strong work ethic. That's why I'm where I am today. Like, I worked my behind off. My first pair of expensive Nikes came from my second stepfather. My second pair came from me. I went and bought them. I went through the building. I was cleaning windows. I was uh, pulling up weeds. I did everything I could. Like my stepfather was a janitor, so he let us pull the garbage. We put the garbage out of each entrance, and we only got $20. I get $10 here, $20 here, $10 here, $5 here, a quarter here, a quarter here, a nickel. Like one lady, every day I checked her mailbox. And she used to give me 10 cent, 10 cent. I think her name was Miss Eleanor. She gave me 10 cent. Now, Miss Johnson gave me 10 cent. Miss Eleanor gave me 25 cent. And I swear to God, I saved it. And I turned those 10s and 25s into $5. And that actually helped to pay for my pair of uh, uh, Nikes. I had, I don't know what they was. They were some cold Nikes, though. I would get a pair of them right now. They were super cold. Like, I got a pair of them Nikes, and I felt great. Because I bought them. They was like $98 with tax. And I bought them. Like, man, when you and when you do that for your child and you... I don't buy my kid nothing. My son been asking me for a phone for the longest. And he ain't got no phone. Because he don't want to earn it. He like, well, I'm on Shuffle Snow. I'm like, okay, well, Shuffle Snow then. He stopped doing it. I'm like, all right. Dad, could you give me your iPhone 7? You got the 10. Yeah, I got the 10 and I worked for it. I'm not giving you nothing, son. You're getting the bare necessities. That's it. Like, I don't care how long I ain't seen you for. I don't care how hard I'm working, how long I got to grind. I'm not going to actually try to make up love with money. It don't help nothing. Only thing that do is give them this sense of, uh, 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 I forget the word for it. But you know what I'm talking about, like, entitlement. They feel entitled, like, oh, yeah. Like, man, you know what? I got this person in my life. I'm not going to name. Is a family. Is a relative. Is my younger relative. And I hate the way that his mother does. She will send him money. Every time things get hard, he complains to her and she coddle him. And I try my best to break him. And like, I don't know if it's working or not. Hopefully it is, but it's not too much I can do. It's not too much I could do because like when you coddle these men and then you know what, ladies, quit raising men that you wouldn't date. Like, how can you like... How can you be on the phone with your homegirl and be like, yeah, girl, yeah, I got rid of Justin. Yeah, because, girl, he ain't want to work. He just thought I was just going to sit and take care of him. 
Yeah, yeah, girl, I bought him them shoes and you know what I'm saying? Like he thought that that was just gonna be it. I'm just gonna buy him the shoes and video games. He just wanna chill. And then five minutes later, you like, well, girl, look, I gotta go and I gotta go buy my son these shoes and these video, this video game real quick. You know, I gotta take care of baby boy. No, no, you and they be calling their son babe. You know, I gotta take care of babe. You know what I'm saying? Shorty, do you know what you just did to your son was the exact reason you got rid of Justin ass? The reason you got rid of Justin is because he's exhibiting the same behavior that you're teaching to your child. Stop it. Like, I know a lot of women that do that shit. That shit's stupid. Like, give him a nice gold chain if he deserves it. One of the most memorable gifts I got. As they say, when a kid whose struggle is growing up either finds success or winds up in trouble. Facts. But the thing is, is the kid that grows up struggling with direction ends up with usually with success. And it's not that like, see, the thing is, it's not about the struggle. I get I think it's not to make them struggle it's to make them earn it. Prime example. Matter of fact, let me give you this before I give you my last. One. My next door neighbor. I'm going to brag on this dude until I fucking die like this. I'm going to brag on this dude until I die. Damn it. Look. My next door neighbor, right? Street dude. Like straight street dude. You know what I'm saying? You can listen to his voicemail and him trying to be professional, but you hear all the street in this nigga. Like, <laughs> it's terrible. It's just, it's cringe worthy just to hear this nigga trying to sound professional. But, straight entrepreneur. Straight entrepreneur. Make your boy a man and make your daughters a respectable woman. Damn right. Now, look. Let me show you what happened, right? So me and my man looking, we, you know what I'm saying? We trying to find some properties and stuff like that. I'm trying to get into, you know, what he telling me about, blah, 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 this, that, and this, right? So he like, all right, cool. I have so many now I can start a store. Now look, right? This is what happened. This is what the dude do. He say, we ride, so we in my car, and he about to show me some properties, and, you know what I'm saying, to look at. So I'm like, all right, cool. So he like, hey, look, we need to make a stop real quick. My son, I need to drop him off some tools. Now, his son is like 14 or 15 years old. 14, 15 years old. Bear with me. Let me tell you the story. So I'm like, all right. So we pull up into the driveway. He jump out and he go drop some stuff out to his son. And he come back and he say, sorry for taking so long. Look at the job that we got to do over here. Now, I know this dude is a certified plumber. This dude is a certified plumber. He will dig up pipes outside. This grown man is a certified plumber. Now, his son, 15. Now, he showed me the video. It's his son in there standing in water, still water about this high, this high. So it's damn near to my knees because I'm short. You know what I'm saying? Like this high is to my knees. I'm short. So, bam, I'm like, dang, what y'all about to do in there? Like, we're going to drain it and we're about to put in a sump pump. I'm like, that's a big job because I know what a sump pump job costs from a big professional. So I know that's a big job. So Eli, man, I got my son in there draining the water. So I'm thinking like, I'll drain the water. It ain't too much. You know what I'm saying? He drained it. So we ride off. We go see some stuff. He say, all right, I need to drop my son off these boots. So we go back over there, right? So he come back out with another video. His son is in there jackhammering the pavement up. He then got the pavement up and dug a, dug a hole out. And now he about to install like the insulation for the sub pump and it's already been cored like you put the holes in it i call it cord right so it's already been cored so it could get the water to come in and it will pump it out right so now i'm like wait i know about the sub pump job because i was about to get one done and they said it was going to be over ten thousand dollars so i know this is a huge job i know this is a huge job so i'm like bro are you telling me your son is in there doing that by himself? He like, no, he got his friend from school. They both 15. I'm, I'm like, wait. You got your son and his friend installing a sump pump from a sump pump. I, you, you a fool. You a fool, truck and truck. So from scratch, he say, yeah. I'm like, are you serious? That is awesome. That's what we need to start doing. And he said, you know what? He's like, man, for this job right here, I just pay him like his friend, him and his friend, three hundred dollars a piece. They be cool. This kid about to do a three, four hour job 
and make $300. It's like $100 an hour for a kid. Which means that somebody come to him and say, yeah, we got these nicks, man. You could sell this and you could make $200 uh, if you stand out here all day and sell this Coke. He going to pull out a bankroll like, you see this right here? I say this up in three months. This $5,000. See that? This I make more money than your mama and your daddy. The reason why you out here hustling is because you don't know how to make this right here. And put it back in his pocket. And say, you know what? I wouldn't sell it. What I look like standing on the corner all day to make three, four hundred dollars. Then you get busted. And then you gotta pay five, ten, fifteen thousand for the lawyer. You only made twenty. Now you using the other five thousand for commissary and putting on your books. And you're not getting none of that back. Plus all the downtime you're gonna have while you sitting and fighting the case. That's if you win it. Possibly you might even have to bond out. So after all of your bond, your lawyer, your downtime and all that. You in the hole 30,000, but you only made 20. I'm up 15,000, and I could go spend this right now, and I'm cool. You understand? So, the whole thing is when I see stuff like that, did you tell your mom about his breathing treatment and medicine? Listen, this is what I'm going to say before I get out of here. Oh, you know what? I could start transferring this stuff. What I'm going to say is this. When you see stuff like that, I'm definitely going to expose my son to it. When I see that boy, I'm going to ask him to come and I want him to talk to my son. I'm going to tell him how old, I'm going to show him how old he is. And I'm going to ask for them pictures. And I'm going to be like, hey, little man, come here real quick. I got my son over here. You think you can talk to him for me? Like about what? Like, man, look, I'll give you some chips or something. Just about for five or six minutes. I just want to ask you some questions in front of my son. I just want you to answer them. He, he going to probably be like, oh, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, let me go get my son real quick. Now, son, this is what I want you. Hey, bro, this, this, and this. And I'm going to ask him in front of my son, man. That's, that's definitely cool for the son. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely one of the things that you can do. Uh, Next, let me go over here and get ready to get, get the day started. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. And last but not least, we're going to talk about my class and everything else before I go. People, make sure y'all check me out at www.ybetv.org. Oh, yeah, my class, my uh, questions went down to $9.99. I put them down to $9.99. You know what I'm saying? The questions is $9.99. If you want to ask anybody a question, if you want me to answer your question within 48 hours, you're going to have to pay $9.99. You hear me. You heard me correctly. It is $9.99, and I will answer your question for you within 48 hours. Otherwise, if you don't need a question answered that quickly and you feel like waiting a month or so, you know what I'm saying? Definitely be my guest. Be my guest. You can wait that month or so, and I will definitely answer your question as soon as I can, uh, you know, get to it. HVAC. I don't know what that is. I'm definitely going to keep that on now. HVAC bag? I don't know what that is. Okay, now, what I'm going to say is make sure y'all check me out, www.ybetv.org, and you can pick out business questions. You can pick out a lot of different things and make sure you support the brand. Go pick up a pen. Go pick up a mouse pad. Go pick up whatever. Support the brand. And last but not least, let me see. oh, it's this right here. That's why it's like that, because there's so much light coming in on this side. Maybe if I turn it this way. It's a little bit better. So what I'm going to say is this, man, before I get out of here, man. Look, if you knew and you ain't got no your H, HVAC AC front blower. Okay, HVAC AC front blower. That's what that is? That's what it say. It says HVAC bad. I got a code. Oh. Let me see. Nah, it's not coming up. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so Listen. Make sure y'all check it out. Make sure y'all get the, uh, make sure y'all go check out the course, man. Check out the course. You can do it yourself. Check out the course. You can definitely do it yourself. It's 50 bucks to do it yourself. It's 189 for me to do it for you. I will set you up. The only thing you got to do is come to me with a business name and an idea of what you want to do with your business and let me take care of the rest. Yes, it's your, it, it is, brother. Check the AC if it's blowing. 
Okay, I definitely see that not all people work hard. Exactly. So look, people, y'all already know. Go check out the site, www.ybetv.org slash shop and go shop, man. Pick up some things from over there. Man, you know what I'm saying? Support the brand, support the channel. I'm going to say it like this before I get out of here. Buy some ink pens. Buy, buy a, a, a YBE TV mouse pad. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, I don't do the, the GoFundMe. I don't do the GoFundMe. If you need a mouse pad, buy a mouse pad for me. You know what I'm saying? If you need somebody for me, like, why not? Like, why not support the brand? Because I'm going to continue to give you free stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always do the free stuff. But I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep the brand growing and I got to keep on pushing and making it bigger for you guys. We all benefit from it. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Tunchi, and this is YBETV. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YBE.